Well, um, this guitar here is a custom painted. It's a. It, it looks black from five feet away, but it's actually candy apple blue. It's a, it's a custom painted Joe Bonamassa unaged model. I figured, you know, I'll age it a, a couple of couple of gigs and some 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 gaudy belt buckles later, and we we got ourselves an aged guitar. Um, I got it. For, I got it around Christmas time. I've been playing it all. I've been playing it a while, and uh, it's been my main guitar for last month and a half. So which is cool. And basically, this tone here. Um, this is standard issue John Henry's um, from upstairs. Uh, thank you, John. Um, and it's a Fender Blues De DeVille. And um, basically, I could have turned it around and it aimed it so the grill is facing your your, your way. Um, then I would have been responsible for, for hurting people's ears. Um, I, I think these combo amps sound better from the from the back. Um, cause it's a little, it's a little warmer, you know? And what you do is you set your gain and your volume, and my, my, my theory's always been there's a billion different tonal variations you can get just out of these four knobs. And I see these signature guitars coming out from, from various people, and they just have one knob, volume. I guess it's like, I don't understand why you wouldn't put a tone knob on there, you know? Because, you know, generally, if I was to play everything up right now, this is what it sounds like. But, and, and it's, it's a, maybe even a bit distorted. Um, so, what I do is, generally, what I've been doing is, today has been soloing on like around six, and like putting the tone around six. Um, and it gives you enough gain and a, a little bit of reverb. It gives you enough articulation, and it, it just basically you just kind of like use this as your overdrive pedal, as opposed to stomping on a box. Um, and you use this as your as your master tone, and you can do that the same here. <laughs> King thing, you know. When I listen back to my to my, my stuff is like I, I, I listen back and I find that the hardest stuff that I that I do on a daily basis is, is controlling the space in between the phrases. You know, like I sometimes I think I have undiagnosed ADD, and sometimes it shows in my playing. Because like if you're playing like I, I used to really not take a breather. I literally would not take a breath. People would like look at me playing like you don't breathe for like a minute. I was like, well, maybe I can win a contest. You know, holding my breath in the water. But yeah, like for example, you know, if you're playing in C, There's not, many, there's not much space in between those th th those phrasings. So what, what I used to, that's kind of how I used to play. So now what I do is I, I purposely try to put in a like a like a like a, a breather, you know, you know. <laughs> So you're like you're kind of like putting these little gaps in, you know, like finish the phrase, then start a new one. Don't just like you know. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. and like run that thing all the way down the you know the, the, the fretboard you know so like you know I'll, I'll play mm-hmm. 